guys, welcome to the Violet Realm. My name is Amy and I'm so glad you're here today. I hope you slept well. Uh, today is a general daily energy reading. It's a collective message, so take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, my private readings are closed now and they'll be, be reopening soon. So, all right. Oh, I already got a, a card popping out. <laughs> so let's see what's going on. I'm using the Hermetic Tarot today. Uh, this is a very special deck. Uh, it's been it's been infused with certain energies, so I'm anxious to see what comes out. There's five. There's six and seven. Okay. I'm hopeful one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I got seven. Alright. Here we have Lord of Ruin, Ten of Swords. Lord of Ruin. King of Cups. The Ace of Wands, the King of Pentacles, <clears throat> the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. All right, so let me just look at these a minute and get the energies here. Okay, we have Lord of Oppression and Lord of Ruin. So uh, this is something really painful that's coming to an end, okay? Um, this oppressive energy that you may have been feeling, restriction, uh, maybe uh, you have been uh, shot down at something you wanted to do. Uh, and I'm feeling this, this energy of like, almost stunned that it didn't work out maybe. Um, but, you know, that's, that happens sometimes um, in life. You know, sometimes things that we think are gonna work out don't, or they don't work out the way we want them to. But this energy of uh, Ten of Swords uh, being done, and uh, I feel like with this energy, it's like you're, you're picking up your wounded self and you're moving forward. Now, those wounds could have to do with baggage from childhood or something like that as well. So it may not be just um, job or love. It, it could be family. It could be all kinds of things. This is major uh, trauma. This is major emotional devastation, okay? And it's like this energy, maybe you've been dealing with this energy for a while and there's a level of it that you're letting go. Um, <clears throat> all right. So I think that's the energy we're going to be letting go of. So uh, that's what we are. A lot of us are in this energy right now, uh, especially with what's going on in the world. Um, and uh, it's like you feel like you can't do what you want to do and you don't have enough. And... Uh, a lot of I'm feeling a lot of confusing energy not being able to really move forward because uh, not sure which way to go on the path okay and then we have interesting we have the king of cups here we have the king of Pentacles and we have a queen of cups all right so um, that's a really lovely energy I'm feeling like for some of you, this is balance. This is balance within your self. For others, this is like divine counterpart energy, like soulmate energy, connecting with someone emotionally, mentally. Like this is true connection, okay? And the King of Pentacles, I'm reading that as um, manifestation, grounding, stability, um, those kind of things coming through for this energy. So it could be, like I said, this could be you balancing out this tremendous pain here and moving forward into a more stable place. Or this could be you leaving this energy and moving towards this person, this person coming towards you. You may know this person. There may be a deepening of the relationship, like an opening that is made for you guys to go deeper. We have the Ace of Wands here. We have the Nine of Cups. And, you know, this feels like success. We have Lord of Material Happiness on the Nine of Cups, and we have the Lord of the Root of the Power of Fire. So fire is inspiration, passion, creativity. It is, um, it could be sexuality. It can be those things that uh, light you up. It could be your spirituality here with this Nine of Cups. There may be a, <clears throat> a breakthrough that comes from a place of... Uh, that you've never been to before. Like if you haven't been a spiritual person, you may have some kind of weird spiritual thing happen or or, or um, 
psychic thing, be validated. This could be you could have actual activity around you. And it's as if that energy coming forward, it's, it feels strange a little bit to me, but it's good. It's good. It's like a manifestation of gifts and abilities that might make you uncomfortable. But let that uh, stir the creativity and the passion within you to, um, especially now, a lot of people I'm feeling like are in this energy. And to go from this energy, this Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands energy here, to this energy... This Ace of Wands and Nine of Cups, it takes a lot of power, okay? It takes a lot of power and ability, and uh, it takes a balancing. And, you know, a lot of people don't like to hear this, okay? <laughs> but sometimes our highest purpose is aligned with our person, okay? And um, Spirit may be wanting you to uh, work on this energy and let it go so you can move forward. I always get the chariot, um, and, you know, the King of Pentacles has a, a weird kind of wheel thing too you know but for some reason when i get the king of cups like i feel movement like emotional movement like willing to open up willing to uh let this energy come forward and yeah it's it's like um it's like, okay i would okay i'm a writer i i write uh in my off time not that i have any but um <laughs> but uh, it's like having writer's block and then all of a sudden everything's good. You're just flowing. You're in flow and you're writing and um, the writing that you're doing is some of the best writing you've ever done. That's what I would compare this situation to. So let me get a couple of um, Oracle cards. Whew. You know, it, it just really sucks. This energy right here, it really sucks. I feel it, you know. It's that moment before you're you're really ready to move forward. You know, it's that moment of like pausing and reflecting on what you've been through. And sometimes when we reflect, we get into the emotion of it, you know, and it's harder to let it go. And uh, we rethink it. There's like obsessive thought here. So you might be overthinking something and it's just time to let it go. Because I feel like you've spun your wheels. Okay. The energy is gaining momentum. Yes, I feel that. I feel that. Okay, conclusions are within reach, you guys. And I balance spirituality and practicality. Do I get this card almost every day? I'm trying to do that. <laughs> Aren't you guys trying to do this? Aren't you guys trying to be practical? It's like uh, full moon in Pisces. You know, of course, I'm trying to be practical. You know, that's that's reality. We live in the real world, you know. But I feel like they're really trying to ground people um, and so they can bring things in. And sometimes the way spirit moves to ground us is, is very chaotic. So um, we have a full moon eclipse. Conclusions are within reach. So this, I feel like this energy here is coming to an end. It's going to be wrapped up, okay, for a lot of people. And how long it takes to wrap it up? I don't know. I don't know. I can't tell you. But you'll be getting into the energy of transitioning from this. And many of us were in transition and then we got out of it and we moved on to a new awareness and a, a new sense of self. And then all of a sudden, here we are again in this energy, right? Because growth is continual, okay? It's not a it's not a one-step process. You don't just, ah, oh, I'm grown, so I don't have to do anything. That's not how it works when you're on this kind of journey, okay? So... The energy is gaining momentum. So I feel like, and that is a wake waxing moon. So I feel like things are going to pick up. Things are, I feel like um, March, April, we may see more movement within our collective. So take that as it resonates. Um, that won't be for everyone. But if you are on this journey, I feel like spring is going to be a really good time. You know, I've been saying this, but it's true. And I know it sounds very much like a, a TV show where they say winter is coming, but spring is coming. No matter how dark the day, no matter um, how bleak it looks, the sun rises. It still rises every single day. Right now, anyway, knock on wood. <laughs> I'm just teasing. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it still rises. So there's always hope in a new day. And... You know, uh, some people think hope doesn't have value, but I'll tell you what, 
when you are about to give up on everything, when you're looking literally at the face of death, hope is one of the most powerful things you can have. And giving hope to others uh, is something that will return to you. So be hopeful, share hope with others. Um, know that it's gonna get better. Believe it's gonna get better. And it will, it will. And I feel like as you really get into the vibe of believing it's gonna get better, knowing it's gonna get better, which begins with hope, uh, the energy around you will change. You're, you're gonna shift the energy. We, I've talked, I've spoken, sorry. I've spoken about um, uh, how to shift your energy, okay? That, that was probably a month ago, maybe more, in a daily energy reading, and um, maybe a couple. Shifting your energy, knowing how to shift your energy is the beginning of like real spiritual magic. Uh, being able to know and be aware that you can shift your energy, it, it's, it's like a state of self-awareness that um, is profound because you can choose where to go. You can choose how to be. You can choose which frequency of yourself would uh, be best for the moment you're in, right? So, you know, um, as you work in that energy and you learn to change your frequency and you learn what frequencies work with you, and that could be, and that doesn't mean music, that could be like books, people, places, things, it's going to be different for everyone. Maybe running is your thing that really connects you to who you are, whatever it is, whatever it is. As you put energy into it, positive energy, as you change your energy and change your flow into what you need. The energy around you will shift, and I feel like the energy of really moving out of this uh, oppressive feeling of restriction and um, failure will dissipate for many people. So, um, yeah, that's what I got for you guys to get today. My tongue's getting heavy. <laughs> anyway, that's what I got for you guys today. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I love to talk to you guys and I love uh, connecting with you. So be sure to join me on Instagram. Uh, I'll have that up on the screen somewhere and in the description box below. So anyway, have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.